Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business. And today I have a quick tip about PHP and Laravel constants and why you should use them sometimes. I'm not a big, big fan of constants. I, I never was, but uh, recently a colleague of mine showed me one really strong reason why you should use constants whenever you have something really strongly defined. And here I have an example for you. Imagine a project where uh, you have a calendar or task list and you have to have this alert for people if it is Monday. So it, if, it, if it is Monday, then you have alert. Did you do the report for last week? So uh, it should be in calendar and it should be in task list. And that project is default quick admin panel with calendar module, but it's not relevant to this video. So basically in two views, you have this alert and in the code you have it here. So in calendar you have if user is admin and now it's Monday you have alert and similar here. So if it is Monday you have alert and it could be one include, partial, whatever. But uh, and there's no constant here, right? So why you would need constant and where could it be here? Imagine uh, the task that you need to change that logic and uh, then show that alert on Sunday, not on Monday. And if you have that alert in several places in code, in different files, how would you search the code for Monday? If you search the whole project shift shift for Monday, it's not there, uh, it's not in that code. So you wouldn't even know, or for example, some other developer that uh, who didn't write that code uh, would have such a uh, task to change Monday to Sunday. Instead of have one here, Carbon has constant for that. So Carbon Monday. Uh, and if we copy that here into other tasks index, similar here. So that doesn't change. It still works in both tasks and calendar, but now the code is much more readable. And with dates, for example, uh, it's even a question here. So whether week starts from zero or from one, from Sunday or from Monday, it depends on uh, a lot of things on your settings, basically. But uh, anyway, it's not even readable to have uh, day weekday equals one. Is it Sunday or Monday or even Tuesday, maybe? So if you have specific constant Monday, it's much more readable. And then what you can do is do shift shift Monday. Why is it not found? Okay, uh, we do this finding path Monday. Monday and on here. So for example, in in resources, let's break down to resources. Yeah, and now you can find it uh, looking through all the code base or, I don't know, in app folder or in the resources folder, then it's much more easy to find and to replace with whatever other constant. And that's the constant example from Carbon. But then you can use your own constant, and I will show you that example as well. So with this if statement, for example, we have is admin, and is admin is a function inside of a user module, so this. We have a uh, many-to-many relationship to roles, so users and roles, and this is the basically query for role equals one. Now, same thing. What if in the future you need to change that the role one could be role ID two or role ID three, and you cannot really search for role admin. Similar, you can create a constant here. So, for example, to const role or actually admin row equals one and then in here replace that one sorry place that one to self uh, admin row and then it's much easier to search there for like admin row no, with space it wouldn't work but it would work with uh, with admin row so constants, the whole point of this video, constants make code readable, more readable and more searchable if instead of the numbers, instead of some calculations, you would have text uh, and then everyone would be clear on what that thing actually uh, actually means. If it's admin role or just number one, if it's Monday or just number one or zero. 
So I encourage you to use constants where it's appropriate. Of course, it's not everywhere, but if you have some numbers which could be misleading or could change in the future, please uh, add the constants, whether to uh, use in your own classes or maybe look for already existing constants like in Carbon instance. Hope it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel Laravel Business to get more videos like this one and see you guys in other videos.